out of the blue of the western sky comes Sky King. As we say here in the West, Greek partner. Reach for Nabisco. Partner! Reach for Nabisco. The bright red seal on the package end means there's mighty good cookies inside, my friend. Yep, that famous Nabisco seal is on all your favorite cookies. Creamy chocolatey Oreo cream sandwich. Yummy Fig Newtons. Mouth melting Lorna Doon. Chipperoons, those great taste in coconut chocolate drop cookies. And many, many others. So just remember, when it comes to cookies, reach for Nabisco. Nabisco! And now, Sky King. aren't they? You recognize them? These young fellas, Don and Scotty, are right from your own hometown of Grover. They now call themselves the Volantes. And now the reason for this evening's festivities. We're here to honor one of our very own, whom we all love and respect. A young man who deserves the support of everyone in this community. And he is a man, though not yet in his teens, because he's taken on a man's job and responsibilities. He's established his own business and helps take care of his grandmother. And incidentally, she can be mighty proud of this young fella. As you all know, several years ago, this young man was blinded in an accident, but he's never asked for help or favors from anyone. This night has been a tribute to his brave spirit. You all know him, our own newsboy, Johnny Henderson. Bring him out, Jimmy. Well, Johnny, what have you got to say for yourself? I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> you don't have to say anything. No speeches. But Penny's got a little surprise for you. Tell him, Penny. Well, Johnny, this show tonight has raised enough money to buy you a companion. One we know you, you really love and who love you in return. Oh, Matt? This is Barney. He'll be your eyes, Johnny. He'll teach you how to see through his eyes. Hello, Barney. He's... he's mine? He's all yours, Johnny. He'll be with you from now on out. Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to meet Mr. Matt Farber, Barney's trainer. Johnny, Mr. Farber's going to stay here in Grover and spend some time with you and Barney every day so you two get to know each other real well. Oh, Barney, we'll be great pals. Johnny, do you have to leave so soon? I have to pick up the morning papers, Grandma, and get the stand open for business. Forward, Barney. Maybe I should go along with you. I don't like you to go alone. Grandma, I won't be alone. I've got Barney now, and he knows all the places I have to go. Before Mr. Farber left town, he said we were able to get along fine now. Of course you are. Just be careful, Johnny, and remember everything the trainer taught you. We will, won't we, Barney? <laughs> Forward, Barney. Goodbye, Grandma. Goodbye, Johnny.
newspapers. Attaboy, Barney. Not to the newsstand, boy, to the newsstand. Good boy. Here we are, we didn't have any trouble getting here, did we, boy? Don't you, fella? I've wanted someone like you all my life. We'll have some good times together, won't we, boy? And we won't always be selling newspapers. Someday we'll have a business of our own to support Grandma. And you and I will be able to go ahead and finish high school and then college. Just think, you'll be the only dog with a college education. I have to break this $10 bill to make change. Mr. Dobbs takes care of that for me. Come on, take me to the market, boy. To the market. Forward. Wait a minute, Barney. You know it's too early for the store to be open for business. Don't you remember? Mr. Dobbs always left us in the back way. Take me around back, Barney. To the back, Barney. Come on. Come on, quit your stalling, Dobbs. You gonna open that safe? Or do I have to let you have it? Shot. Shot? Is he? The doc says he'll recover, but he's still unconscious and can't tell us anything. Mrs. Dobbs says there's about $1,000 missing. Nobody saw the getaway car. What's this got to do with Barney? The dog evidently took out after the thief. Gee, I don't understand it. A guide dog's not supposed to leave his master under any circumstances. Barney didn't leave me. He went after the man that hit me. Now, don't you worry. He'll come back. But what if he gets lost and he can't find his way? Mitch? You better brief me. Johnny didn't hear a car arrive, so it was already there. That means that Dobbs led whoever it was into the store before he was open for business. Mm, evidently somebody who knew the setup pretty well. Knew when Dobbs arrived in the morning and when he opened the safe. That's right. I've put it on the shortwave, an APB, and I've got deputies out scouting all the main roads. What do you say you and I do some scouting on the Songbird? That's what I had in mind. I got my stuff on the plane. Come on. Deputy Carnes calling Sheriff Hargrove. Come in, please. Go ahead, Carnes. A police dog reported seen running along the highway east of Grover. I've covered 30 miles and I haven't seen a sign of a dog. If it was Barney, he must have gone off the road into the desert or we'd have caught up with him by now. All right, Carnes. Cover all the side roads, too. Jack. If it was Barney, then why doesn't he come back? If it was Barney, we'll be able to spot him from the air. Can we go with you? No, Penny, you better stay here. The radio station in Grover is broadcasting an appeal for anyone who sees a police dog to call here. I gave the Flying Crown phone number. If you do get any calls, Penny, call us in short wave. And don't you worry, Johnny. As soon as we find out anything, we'll call you. Thanks, Mr. King. Quarter of the desert on either side of the highway, starting in close and working out. You watch that side, now watch this. Okay. Here, use these. Thanks. You know, I don't blame Johnny for being worried about his dog. Alone on this desert, he could die of thirst. And with his coloring, he's going to be hard to spot. I'm going to have to fly right down on the deck. Find out if they 
haven't seen Barney yet. Johnny, Sky said he'd call us as soon as they found him. Once more, we interrupt this program to make a special announcement. Come on. We still have had no word about the German Shepherd police dog wearing a special guide dog harness. The dog answers to the name of Barney. He is valuable, intelligent, trained to lead the blind. When last seen, Barney was traveling east on the highway out of town, believed to be trying to follow a car driven by the Dobbs grocery store bandit. Anyone seeing this handsome German Shepherd is asked to telephone the Flying Crown Ranch Collect. Grover 817R. Repeat, call Grover 817R Collect. And now we resume the musical portion of our program. Barney? Barney, come on, come on, come on, come on. Barney! Johnny, here's a sandwich and a glass of milk. Now you've got to eat something. I'm not hungry. Hello? Yes, this is the Flying Crown Ranch. Flying Crown Ranch calling the Songbird. Come in, Sky. Over. This is the Songbird. I read you, Penny. Come in. Sky, we just had a call from a woman who lives near Ghost Wells, and she's positive she's seen Barney. Tell him the rest. Sky, she said a group of hunters have organized a coyote hunt. They camped out there last night. And right now, they're combing the area. Over. And Barney is headed in their direction? Over. Yes, toward Blue Canyon. Now, Sky, you know they can easily mistake him for, for a coyote. Sky, you've got to find him. We're on our way, Penny. Songbird out. Behind that rock. Wait. Wait for the others. String out and we'll have him cornered in a canyon up there. They're the parked cars. They can't be far away. All right, now let's head for Blue Canyon. A couple of you take the right side and a couple of you take the left side. We'll go straight up the middle. the hunters. They're shooting at some kind of an animal. Could be Barney. They just caught a flash running ahead of him. I'll dive on him. Maybe that'll stop him from shooting. Now we'll land. Hang on. 
down. This could be a rough one. Like that. It's the only way I could figure out to keep you from shooting. Why? We think you're shooting his dog, a very valuable dog. Did you hit him? I don't know. He kept going, but he looked like a coyote to me. Could any of you fellows swear that it wasn't a police dog? A German shepherd wearing a harness? He saw him first. Maybe he got a better look at him than we did. Is that right? Well, I'd say it was a coyote. That's why I shot at it. There's one way to make sure. The dog knows you, Sky. That's right. I'll go on in. That canyon looks like a dead end. Nothing could get out of there without being seen. Watch the slopes. All right. Now remember, no shooting until we're absolutely sure. You three fellas go up on that rock. You two up behind here. You two with me. Stay right there. Yeah. You think you can find him, Sky? If Barney is hiding in here, he's probably scared to death from all those shots that have been fired at him. You think he'll come to you? I don't know, Mitch. Intelligent dogs are usually very sensitive. I only hope he hasn't been ruined as a guide dog for Johnny. You better stay here. Barney! Barney! Here, boy! Barney! 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 Here, boy! Barney! Barney. Mitch, it's Barney, all right. Barney, you remember me. Hold it, Mitch. The dog's scared to death. Here, Barney. I won't hurt you. Barney, I haven't got a gun. I won't hurt you. I'm going to take you to Johnny. Come on, Barney. That dog has changed completely. I couldn't even get near him. Well, what are you going to do now? Johnny's our only chance. He may come to his master. He might turn on him, too. That's right. It's up to Johnny whether he wants to take that chance or not. All right. Why don't they call us, Penny? They must have found Barney by now. Songbird calling the flying crown. Songbird calling the flying crown. Come in, Penny. Go ahead, Sky. What's happened? We found Barney. He's in Blue Canyon. They found him. Drive Johnny to Ghost Wells. Park where you see the other cars parked. I'll meet you there. Got it? Over. Got it, Sky. We're leaving right away. Over and out. Oh, boy. I knew Sky or Mr. King would find Barney. Come on, Johnny. You're going to have to do this alone. Barney won't trust anybody else. It may be dangerous, son. Are you sure you want to try it? I love him. He'll come to me. All right, boy. Johnny? Barney was in here, frightened and hiding. If he loves you enough, he may come to you when he hears your voice. You're going to have to give him back his faith and confidence in human beings, Johnny, or he won't be any use to anyone. You understand? I can do it. He'll come to me. All right. Now, here's a stick I cut for you to feel your way. You have a big rock right here? And when I give you the signal, you feel your way along this rock. I don't know what's beyond here, but be careful. OK, boy? OK. Mitch, Johnny will be helpless if that dog's gone completely psycho and attacks him. If he does shoot, and shoot to kill. You cover him from that side, and I'll take this side.
Okay, Johnny, go ahead. Barney and Johnny back to Grover and drop Mitch off at his office. All right. I'll fly back to the ranch. Okay. Everything's going to be okay, son. to you. He had a reason for suddenly attacking you. The dog's a killer, that's why. You ought to be put out of the way. That's the voice. That's the man who shot and robbed Mr. Dobbs. I thought so. And Barney knows so. That's why you were shooting at him out here in the brush. He trailed you out here from town. You're crazy. I camped out here last night. I was here all the time. Ask him. Last night I can vouch for. We're starting out after daylight. We wasn't inside of each other all the time. Let's see what we can find in his truck. Let me go. We'll let you go. You didn't explain what this sack from Dobbs grocery store is doing in your truck. He's all yours, Mitch. Johnny, I guess Barney turned out to be a pretty good detective, huh? <laughs> I think he should be made a deputy sheriff, huh? Oh, no. Barney's going to stay with me, aren't you, boy? <laughs> well, Johnny, <laughs> there's your answer. <laughs> I think you proved today Barney's your dog and no one else's.